okay supriya so uh, let me thank you first for voluntarily coming forward to share your selection in uh, prestigious iit delhi ms course in civil engineering department thanks a lot supriya thank you sir for inviting me to this platform great so supriya uh, i just had uh, uh, some interaction i just uh, interacted with you and you told me you are a final year student in uh, iist shibpur uh, as of now and uh, uh, you got into this uh, uh, ms program of iit delhi uh, that is all i know so i want over to you i want uh, your brief introduction supriya please tell all of us here uh, from where you are and uh, uh, about your uh, cgpa in the college about your gate score about your category uh, please tell about these things first Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Supriya Karmakar. I am from West Bengal. I am a final year B.Tech Civil Engineering student at IIST Shibpur, West Bengal. My B.Tech uh, CGPA is eight point seven seven, and I took my GATE exam in two thousand twenty one. My GATE marks in Civil Engineering uh, stream was forty three point eight nine, five hundred four score, and a five eight five four rank, and I belong to general category. Okay, great. So five zero four GATE score and eight point seven seven CGPA, which is perfect blend for I would say MS courses and PhD courses and all. So uh, with this, you have got into MS uh, this thing uh, in IIT Delhi. So Supriya, I want to ask you like uh, there are MTech courses, there are MS courses, you know, and there is very less awareness among students for such courses. So I will be discussing uh, with you about all these domains. uh supriya tell me like uh, you are a final year student why you thought of going for ms research program at the first place because what i know is like civil engineers have got got lot of opportunities uh, they have maximum government jobs in the form of junior engineer assistant engineer in the state governments uh, belong to civil engineering departments and majority of my students you know their first target is to get into some really good job government job and relax no fight further Uh, relax but you have chosen a path for you of higher education and maybe uh, it will not stop at the level of ms maybe you will pursue further uh, research or studies also why you have chosen this path at the first place being civil engineer uh, yes sir i got interested in this field of research uh, during my second year i had my internship research internship at iit kharagpur there i got the first exposure of research and i got to know how research works how the lab work is done and the entire the domain of uh, civil engineering in the research field i got to know all that so that really made me interested and then i pursued my btech project and i finally understood that uh, uh, ms is the good choice for me because i am interested for higher high studies okay great so you you got interested in this and then uh, you were pursuing this uh, out of your uh, sheer interest right so what yes. about supriya what about college placement or jobs situation for you uh, yes sir so actually i was a placement coordinator of my uh, college of my department okay. and uh, i have got college placements in two companies okay uh, despite that uh, i always wanted to have uh, go for high studies so i applied for this ms program okay so so this uh, ms or uh, you know, higher education is by choice it is not by chance for you you are no, uh, having job but you are preferring to go for higher education right supriya yes sir by choice okay great so supriya no uh, let me come back to ms program you know yes. ms program uh, students uh, please inform our students that there is mtech and ms program so how long uh, what is the duration of ms program in iit delhi if you can tell us so it ranges from 2.5 to 3 years okay ms program ms program is 2.5 to 3 years okay so so this ms may scholarship also you get a similar to mtech right yes sir similar stipend 12500 per month so tell me what was the criteria uh, of selection in iit delhi because mtech to coap ke through hota hai usme na to interview hai na kuch hai usme what about ms there must be interview in iit delhi and uh, interview mein i would request you to share with us the interview experience also and how important it is to know about what research is going on in that department and to know beforehand that i would like to go in this department so how important is that and please uh, tell us about the interview also 
Yes, sir. Uh, so, firstly, MS admissions uh, happen separately in a separate application. Separate applications are opened, and we need to apply giving our credentials and applying with an SOP. Uh, SOP is a very important factor for selection, I guess, because uh, in the SOP, you have to mention your field of interest and uh, in which field you want to pursue research, MS research in IIT mm -hmm. Delhi. So, what I did was I first uh, went, went through the website of IIT Delhi. I saw what research was going on, which professor. Mm -hmm. and I had my own interest I was interested in structural engineering so okay. I saw what research was going on and uh, uh, similarly I prepared my SOP in that way and I submitted my SOP and uh, there was a criteria that uh, the cutoff CGP was 8.5 CGP for okay. 8.5 CGP or 85 percent and my mm -hmm. CGP is 8.77 so I was eligible mm -hmm. and uh, another thing was that uh, for uh, students from CFTI centrally funded technical institutes mm -hmm. there was no cutoff for gate required okay. Okay. so mm -hmm. I being from IST Shippur uh, so there was no cutoff for gate required though I you, uh, applied Three with my gate time. score mm -hmm. but uh, no cutoff was needed mm -hmm. so uh, purely basis of CGP I was shortlisted total mm -hmm. 29 students were shortlisted for interview mm -hmm. among them uh, eight are applied for structural engineering speci specialization mm -hmm. so uh, I was the first student uh, for the interview the interview panel had four professors mm -hmm. and uh, they first asked about me where I am from they asked me my field of interest mm -hmm. why I want to go for MS not mm -hmm. MTech Mm -hmm. And uh, some basic concepts of civil engineering, they asked uh, very basic concepts and mm -hmm. uh, some basic maths, they asked. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually check your research temperament, uh, how much inclined you are towards research, whether you'll be able to sustain or not. Mm -hmm. So they ask these type of questions. They will judge you based on that. And the mm -hmm. questions are really simple. My interview lasted for 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a good interview. I could answer almost all questions. Mm -hmm. So I was hopeful that I would get selected. And uh, finally, today I got uh, the... Later on. Um, Great. Yes. So, so let let me Supriya ask a couple of things here uh, on the basis of what you told. So, did professor ask you like which domain would you like to pursue your masters? In which uh, area would you like to go? Did they ask you that? Yes, sir. Professor. So, so the panel was already for structures or the combined panel was there? No, sir. Separate panel for each. Like okay. For structure, structure specific... students this side, geotech this side, something like that. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, and you had already uh, gone through the profile of professor and you had already seen the research work there, right? Yes, I had gone through. Okay, so that is also there. So did they ask you that uh, why you want to go for MS? Did they ask you that question yes, also? Yes, they asked that. Okay, and what, what do you think is the best answer for that? So I don't know what the best answer. What I answered was that uh, I had an inclination for research since my BTEC days. Okay. So uh, that is why I applied for MS program as it would give an exposure to research which is my aim in life. Okay. So Supriya, when the interview lasted for 10 minutes and it was over, what feeling you had that, will you get it? Uh, you were having that feeling? Will you yes, get so I had a feeling that I might get selected because How? professors seem satisfied with my answers. Okay. okay. Like so I could answer all correctly and they seem satisfied. They seem satisfied. So something at the end, they asked you that any question you have, you can ask us or something, something like uh, that. They, did they give no, you No, something chance? like that. They just said that it was a good interview. Okay. Uh, you may leave. Yes. Okay, Supriya, now I want two things from your side. Number one, give us some tips how to write SOP, good SOP, because maximum students are afraid of writing SOP. They think uh, SOP, I don't know what is that. So if you can give some tips to write SOP, uh, that is my first uh, question to you. Um, so yes, the SOP should be at least one page long. Like it should have a brief introduction about yourself, about the college you're studying in and uh, about your previous research work, what uh, you have done, okay. like in a research internship, you have mm -hmm. to elaborate on mm -hmm. that. And your current, what you're undergoing, if any BTEC project mm -hmm. or any subjects you are studying which mm -hmm. you, on which you want to do for the studies. And in the end, it should have uh, like, uh, like what you want to do further in the institute, uh, in the MS program, it should have that vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, these points are required to make a good SOP. Okay, so uh, it is important to go through the profile uh, website of uh, that department where you are applying. And on the basis of that, you put in your SOP that uh, which area would you like to work on? Yes, right? sir. on the basis of personal interest, as well as what is going on in institute, a combined okay. effect of both is required. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Supriya, now give some tips for interview also. Since you had a very good interview, so uh, what helps you during interview? What should how students should prepare for that? 
Uh, yes, sir, sir, I would uh, advise that uh, only the basic brush up of concepts of civil engineering is required mm -hmm. uh, because professors don't go to the depth. They just check that whether you are acquainted with the basic concepts or not, okay. mm -hmm. basic uh, concepts of civil engineering and some basic maths. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, they check your research temperament. Mm -hmm. uh, these things are required. Like you should have a clear vision of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like uh, why you want to go for research, you should have a clear answer mm -hmm. and, uh, and no need to become uh, intense or anything, just to be calm and answer. They are, professors are very cool. If you are stuck in any question, they will try to help you. Okay. And um, so, okay. So they also asked you about your BTEC project, which you uh, did? Yes, sir. Okay. They asked me about the name only, not in detail. Mm -hmm. So is it important to have very good BTEC project also? You should have done it seriously. Yes, sir. BTEC project should be done seriously if you want to go for further studies. Then it is very important, right? Yes, sir. So when, when are you going to join this course, uh, Supriya? When is the starting point? Uh, sir, probably in August it will start. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so do you have anything in mind that before you go and join this course, what you are going to study now? Because uh, if you have made up your mind to join this course, then what direction you want to utilize this time now? Uh, what do you want to prepare now? Uh, so presently, I would like to prepare about, uh, I would like to go through the research papers of the professors in structural engineering okay. and uh, have an idea of what they are doing at present okay. so that I may be more acquainted with that. Okay. When so I is, it, is it required that students should beforehand uh, have idea that with, with which professor he is to work or the, you can decide later on also? Uh, so that allotment has not been done yet. Okay. Mm, yes. So uh, you, you can choose a professor um, once you are there, once you um, go there, right? Yes, sir, maybe like that. So that, that can be done. Okay, Supriya, uh, uh, what, what was your BTEC project? If you can tell us only the name. Right? Uh, so my BTEC project was uh, Floating Cities on Water, Concepts okay. and Feasibilities. Okay, okay. So uh, that, that was done nicely by you, right? Um, yes, it, it, Was it related to structures? Uh, yes, sir, about the structure of a floating city. How can okay. a city be actually planned on water? The structure, the material to be used, the foundation mm -hmm. to be designed. Mm -hmm. uh, it was related to structural engineering. How it can okay. be made stable on water. Or mm -hmm. Okay, great. Supriya, you will be spending, uh, investing 2.5 to 3 years now in MS and IIT Delhi. From my own experience, I tell you, that is the best uh, place, you know. I have biasing for IIT because that is my alma mater, you know. Um, alumni of that institute and uh, ID Daily is one of the best time you are going to have of your life. I can tell you that you can utilize it. You can study. You can make. Uh, you know, the moment you enter IIT system, it uh, fires your imagination. It fires your imagination. And maybe the present director of IIT Delhi, when I was interviewing him, you listen. He's a very humble fellow. He's mm -hmm. a, who is a professor of IIT Bombay. And uh, uh, I asked him that what what was the turning point of your life. I asked the uh, uh, director, uh, Professor Rao, what was the turning point of your life? He said, the moment I got into master's, M-Tech, uh, that was the turning point of my life because that fired my imagination. And after that, there was no looking back. So I wish and I hope this moment becomes a turning point of your life also, Supriya. And uh, we get a great academician um, in you and uh, you pursue your research objective later on. So uh, my one of my last question is like, uh, have you decided a long term aspect? I mean, what will you do? Have you decided that uh, what after 2.5 to 3 years? Uh, would you like? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, mainly I thought of pursuing research after MS. So a doctorate is there in your mind as of now, right? Yes. PhD. Okay. So Supriya, anything you want to tell students? Many, many uh, students will be listening to you. And uh, you know, this is motivational things uh, for students. So anything you want to tell them? Uh, yes, I would just uh, like to say that uh, don't get demotivated by your GATE score. Sometimes GATE score is not up to the mark as it was in my case. So if not NTEC, you can always land in MS or uh, PhD, direct PhD. So we should never stop hope and keep applying as I've learned from your PDI Education YouTube channel. Um, so just uh, just keep calm and keep applying and uh, you will get calls. You will get you will be able to crack interviews. Yeah. You know, I, t I want to add up uh, one, one particular thing here. We, we need to see what is happening in developed nations. When we talk about uh, countries like America or uh, Europe, there, you know, teaching is supposed to be the best profession. The best brain gets into teaching. And second, they are getting into direct PhD is the most difficult thing. We take to PhD is a very difficult thing. You need to meet uh, the credentials, you know. Professors have very high expectation from those students who want to go for direct PhD. And masters and PhD are supposed to be really good courses over there. 
India may we need to set that trend. We need to have that trend. India may still, uh, though I'm very optimistic, situations will change because young and bright people like you are now entering more and more into academics because. Uh, as I told you earlier, also civil engineers, whosoever will put effort will suddenly become junior engineer, if not assistant engineer. There are so many jobs, so many departments in state. So you people are deciding to come into academics and there's a very good trend. So slowly, slowly, we will expect that uh, very bright students. I'm interviewing a couple of students also. You must have seen that they are getting into academics. They are saying, no, sir, we were having a lot of jobs. I'm leaving my job. I left it and I'm getting into academics. This is a really good trend. India needs it. India requires good people into academics and not only that uh, there are so many good universities world over and uh, indians and people and students like you should for higher education even explore those options because the moment you go there you bring very healthy knowledge to india also and many things to offer to youngsters back home also i wish you all the very best supriya in your academic life for a life further mm -hmm. and again thanks a lot for coming here and sharing your valuable experience with all of us Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.